Good evening and welcome. December holds the longest nights in what has felt like the longest year. It's been a year filled with anxiety and struggle and loss. We mourn the death of loved ones and countless strangers. We grieve the loss of plans and connection and normalcy. We yearn for healing and hope. This week, we invite you to pause, to allow space to feel all of the feelings that this year has brought, to recognize all of the losses, and to tend to your spirit. This is the third of three video meditations. We have rested in the darkness, named the losses, and now live in hope. I am the Reverend Heather Sinclair, the pastor of the United Methodist Church of Westport and Weston, and I'm joined by Reverend Allison Buttrick Patton, pastor of Saugatuck Church Congregational UCC. This evening, we continue this journey by living in hope. Take a moment now and find some oil in your house. Put it in a little bowl olive oil or scented oil, or even some hand lotion, if that's what you have. Go ahead and pause the video. We will wait for you. When you are ready, let us listen for the voice of Christ. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Hear these words from the prophet Isaiah in the 61st chapter, beginning with the first verse. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. God has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vindication by our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. During the season of Advent, we prepare for the birth of the newborn Christ, Emmanuel, we call him, which means God with us. This is the good news. New life is possible, even here, even now. The prophet Isaiah declares that there is waiting for us the oil of gladness instead of mourning. Oil heals wounds and soothes sore muscles. It is also a blessing and a way of being marked for something special, a special task. In Psalm 23, it says, you anoint my head with oil. And Jesus quoted these words from Isaiah when he launched his ministry. The Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the oppressed and to bind up the brokenhearted. Today, I invite you to receive the gift of oil. 
Take a little of the oil or of the cream that you have on hand. Pour it into a dish or into a small bowl. And then take that oil and mark the back of your hand in the shape of a heart. Trace that heart several times. Rub the oil into your hands. Do it slowly, retracing that heart. And if your own heart or body or spirit feels worn or wounded, let this oil be your healing prayer, your oil of gladness. Be blessed this night and receive God's invitation to be a blessing. As every child born into this world is beloved and called by God, so are you. Let us pray. God of quiet peace, still us in the darkness. Comfort us in our mourning. Anoint us with your healing. Encourage us to live in hope. Open our eyes to the needs around us. Strengthen us to bring good news into this broken and hurting world. God of new beginnings, we trust that after the longest nights have passed, each day gets a little longer. Let us look expectantly with joy to the new things that you are doing, to the seeds that now nestled in the cold ground will sprout with possibility. Let us look to the Christ child, born in humility, sent to love, and anointed to heal. God of blessing, open our hearts to receive your blessings so that we may hear your call to be a blessing to all of your beloved children. Amen. And now, beloved, go forth into the evening to watch for signs of new life in our midst. And sometime in the next couple of days, I invite you to pass along the blessing that you have received. Take time to write a note to someone in need of comfort. Make or find and give a small gift Maybe even share these videos with someone who would find them meaningful. If you like to bake, 
Consider baking a loaf of bread and adding your own prayer of blessing to the oil that you mix into the dough. However you bless those around you, remember that God is in the blessing working, even now, to heal and empower and prepare us for the birth of love made flesh. We hope to see you on December 21st for our longest night Zoom gathering, or whenever you choose to revisit these meditations. Until then, may the love of Christ fill your heart and guide your steps. Amen.